Hey guys, Southern Comfort here. Two methods I use to keep the crows and the deer out. This is my deer fencing. It is eight feet high, plus it goes up a little bit higher by another foot with electric fence with flag tape. Also here is my corn. I use flag tape with rebar and that has worked effectively to keep the crows out. I haven't had any problem with deers. I'm so excited about this. Last year I had this flag tape across the garden here, zigzagging across and that helped. But this deer fencing that I got from Grower Solutions, which is eight feet. And then you got this, the uh, T post here. And I use electric fence there to keep holding it up. I use flag tape to help for the birds to be able to see. I've got electric fence up there, just the deer fence alone. And plus I put little metal clips at the bottom to hold this down. Some of those right there to hold this down so the wind won't blow it. So other critters, animals won't get, uh, go up under it. And this has worked really effectively. I'm so happy about this. It takes the pressure off. I mean, when you got the deers eating your corn, eating your sweet potatoes, walking around your garden, you're seeing all these little footprints, and then you see mama uh, deer coming, baby deer coming, uh, cousin coming. Out of the woods, it's, it's kind of a little stressful because they don't know any better. They're just you're getting them a good snack. But this right here has really worked at keeping these crows out. And uh, so far, I've, I've been very successful at this. And so this is a good measurement here. I was wondering if it was going to work, but it has worked. So it won't be long, my corn, if we can get through this uh, next cold spell here, or two cold spells, then I'll have my corn up higher, and then I can take this flag tape off, the rebars up, and then the corn be ready to take off and grow. We just got to get through the cold spell. If not, then I'll be replanting again, and this is my method. Flag tape, I got off of Amazon, you know, about four bucks. Uh, and then this deer fencing from Grower Solutions. These T-posts here I got from Tractor Supply. And, and of course, I just went ahead and put went extra, put electric fence at the top, which I do have electric fence around it, but I haven't had to use it. And it's been working really super good. Just the fact that it's you know going up higher, it's producing a line so they can see and it just kind of confuses them a little bit and it really does seem to work. When it comes to animals, you just gotta confuse them a little bit. With this flag tape here, the wind blows and it shakes it and so it's like, oh, what is that? So it really does work. If you're having a problem with crows and deers, this might be your solution. Deer fencing and flag tape and rebars and T-posts. See you on to the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up because my aim here is just to help people with what I have learned through gardening. See you on to the next video.